नेक्स्ट मेन टॉपिक इज एग्रोज जेल इलेक्ट्रोफेरिसिस और सबसे पहले हम इसका इंट्रोडक्शन वट इज जेल इलेक्ट्रोफेरिसिस और एग्रोज जेल इलेक्ट्रोफेरिसिस एग्रोज इज पोलिसक्राइड विच इज ऑबेन्ड फ्रॉम सी वीट तो डेट इज वाई इट इज गिवन इम एज एग्रोज जेल इलेक्ट्रोफेरिसिस इट इज डिजोल्व इन बफर देन इट इज हीटेड and then it is cooled to get a gelatinous solid in the form of inert matrix so agarose that is uh, heated and then it is cooled uh, and then a gel like material is formed but this is inert matrix gel is a colloidal suspension of tiny particles in a medium occurring in a solid form like gelatin and gen electrophoresis refers to separation of charged molecules like nucleic acids like proteins when some electric current is applied so after preparing gel samples are loaded and the samples uh, they since they have charge present on them they get separated when electric current is applied and it is the easiest analyzing uh, method Uh, which is used to analyze different mac macromolecules how gel electrophoresis works gel electrophoresis uh, that uh, uh, like we discussed in previous slide that works when we apply electric current and those charged macromolecules they are separated on the basis of their size those molecules they move through the gel and when those molecules move through the, through the gels uh, how they move frictional force of the gel matrix acts as a molecular sieve so wo jo gel ka material hota hai that act as a sieve through which different molecules are separated on the basis of their size and these molecules are forced to move through the pores uh, when electric current is applied most agarose gels Uh, which are used they uh, range between 0.7% to 2% of agarose in some suitable buffer the rate of migration the rate of migration or the rate of separation of macromolecules through the gel when we apply electric current that depends on number 1 charge of present on the molecules then number 2 size of the molecules generally the smaller molecules they move faster then the bigger molecules and then shape of the molecules uh, so uh, generally globular molecules they move uh, in a smoother way as compared with irregular shaped molecules how gel electrophoresis uh, works again uh, these uh, molec uh, these uh, samples which are present in the gels they are stained which are separated molecules now in the gel uh, which can be seen in the form of uh, bands and along with these samples a uh, standard is also run which is used to measure the size of the bands present in the gel and this gel electrophoresis is the most commonly used technique in biochemistry and molecular biology these days we can see uh, it's a procedure brief procedure in the diagram which is present in the slide in the left side we can see the gel which is being uh, prepared uh, which is uh, ready to run uh, and uh, the samples are being loaded here and then electric current is applied by which samples they begin to move from cathode to anode on the right side uh, there is gel present and in the gel there are different types of uh, macromolecules present in the form of bands which can be seen here uh types of uh, gel electrophoresis there are two types of gel electrophoresis one is polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and is briefly named as page polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis it is used for the separation of uh, proteins which range in size from 5 to 2000 kilo daltons uh, so generally smaller proteins they are uh, separated by this method 
and this uh, page that uses a detergent which is STS uh, sodium rhodocyl sulfate which denature the proteins and after denaturing uh, it enables the movement of these uh, proteins through the gel matrix. Second type of the gel electrophoresis is agarose gel electrophoresis and here normally uh, bigger molecules uh, they are separated and these bigger molecules uh, they may be nucleic acids, large proteins and larger protein complexes and the pores of agarose gel are larger uh, that is why these larger molecules they can move through the matrix of the gel so there are two basic types polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and agarose gel electrophoresis